Oh wow, Nvidia's flying. So is Tesla. Oh, Tesla 225 don't look bad at all. Yes, yeah, sir. I got the 225 clock loaded. Watch it. Going for it. It's got a nice. Going right for that 225. Stop loss is going to be like 7%. Cues are going for highs. Excuse it, go, cues. Cues aren't going nowhere. It's trying 225 like 15 times. It's also gotta break 20s at least and hold. Cues are running, Tesla's not. That's crazy though. 20s, 30s, and right back down. Contracts are like 3% right now. 40s. Good spot to take some profit, honestly, after all that work. Holy cow. 40s. Fifties, two twenty-five. My stop and the rest of the cons. The little guy that could. There goes the fifties. Yeah, not bad at all. I want to see two twenty-seven on the rest of these contracts. But one, two, three, four, five, six green candles in a row. It's gonna need a pullback, so just be careful with that. But let's see this two twenty-six break. Just sold everything no way that was bro look at that sell w monday great start of the week one for one on the day with tesla amazing trade i was looking at that 227 originally and i was also looking at that 222 and 220 downside on tesla i was also looking at nvidia i was looking at that 458 but this literally broke like a minute after we took tesla and then I was also looking at 450 downside. And as you guys seen, that one hit when I was already in Tesla and downside never hit. Then I was also looking at SPY. I was looking at 435. That thing was bouncing right at 435, which was making it look nice. And then it aced the downside. I missed it because I saw it at that 435. And the only way I'd be able to get in is if I anticipated it because that five minute was looking choppy. It was bouncing. We can take a look at this five minute. So the only way I would want to be able to get in is if I anticipated it and it really didn't give me any reason or room to anticipate it. As you guys can see, this is what I'm talking about. It keeps bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Market move without me, I didn't like guys. Stuck to my plan. That's all that matters. So Tesla was the only thing. Now Tesla 225 setup intraday. It was looking good. You guys can see after hours and pre-market. It was looking good in that area at 225 but I wanted to see it into that 227. If we take a look at the previous high day, previous high day was 226.37. And as you guys can see, history repeats itself because where did we stop at today? Around that 226.37, which is the reason I got fully out in that area around that 226 break. Number one, we came down. I was waiting for that 222 break, never got it. Then it came right back up. As it started coming back up, I saw that 225 was setting up. We literally hit that, and it was like a wall. Out of nowhere, it stops. It comes right back in the opposite direction. So there's obviously something there in order for it to stop in that area, and that's what I like to see. I anticipated a little bit right here, and then I get fully in on this candle. It tries to come up, comes right back down. My stop loss would have been right here, right? 224.4. That's if this candle goes green or red. Or this candle comes down right under this candle right there. That was my stop loss. That was my plan. We would have lost around 5%. So a good risk for a nice reward. Came up, came back down. Now, Qs were also going, which allowed me to stay in this trade. Qs were flying at the time. 
938. Let's take a look at the Qs. Q, Q, Q. Take a look at this. You guys can see this thing has been running that whole time, right into that high day area. That's exactly why I stayed in the trade. It kept running until 9.39. Taking a look at Tesla, you guys can see this high candle right here, 9.39. That's when Qs were also running. And then I saw Qs starting to fall a little bit, which made me a little concerned about Tesla. Now Tesla's on a one, two, three, four, five, six green candles in a row. And it struggled so much at 225. And then it finally broke 225. And now the next minute Qs are starting to come down. Once I saw Tesla pushing to 226 and it pushed, that's when I sold. Number one, we're at previous high a day on Tesla. Number two, Qs are already falling. Number three, 225 took so long. It struggled so much in that area. And the next thing is one, two, three, four, five, six green candles in a row. It would have been dumb for me not to sell right there. Now, it could have kept going, but again... Full in, full out, 11.81%. W risk reward, at least a 1 to 2 risk reward. I call that an amazing trade. And that's it. Now we move on to tomorrow. Again, I live trade every single morning. Link is in the description below. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, if you guys want me to do any other types of videos, like my current setup right now, or, you know, my room tour, let me know in the comments down below as well. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.